Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of Rainbow Six Siege. So first we are going to go through the settings of Rainbow Six Siege. So controls, I would normally have it at 2020, horizontal and vertical. Um, you could use a controller, I have my controller vertical uh, and horizontal sensitivity 50-50, because that's what I could use. Um, uh, dead s uh, left stick dead zone. I can I put that to 15 because that is the easiest for me to use. Aim assist is enabled for console, like when you're using a controller. But aim assist doesn't really work. I mean, it just assists you to get the kill. Um, but on PC, that is not there, obviously. And you can customize your controls if you're using keyboard and mouse. Um. Uh, display or no graphics. Um, graphics. If you have a very good graphics card like a, a GTX 1660 Ti, you can use ultra settings. Um, obviously I have a GTX 960, so I use high and medium settings. Right now I'm just using medium because I lag whenever I'm recording with high settings because this takes up a lot of the, you know video video memory. Um, display. I would say have it full screen, not border borderless, because you want that refresh rate, 60 hertz. Um, you want the aspect ratio. You can change it up if you want. You know, whatever you, whatever you can and can. Um, you know, field of view. I have it on 90. It just changes the field of view. You'll see dramatic changes. You can also change the brightness of the display. Um, audio. There's nothing really in audio to change other than push the dog which is on PC. So yeah, you could just disable that. You can always have it on open or you could just have it on to push the dog which I have. Now threshold is how long so it takes thirty five seconds for my thing to go off. It stops me mid sentence. If I don't talk and I'm just holding the push to talk button which is you but I have it set set to my custom controlled uh I have a custom control on that. It will time out after 35 seconds if I'm just holding it. Um, prep phase. So when you're using your drone in prep phase, it automatically kicks you off and your drone gets destroyed normally. If you have it on semi-automatic, that means in competitive matches, you know, it is. You could just read the side drone after prep. You know, determine determine if you want to exit the adversary tools after the prep phase. Automatic, yeah. Uh, semi-automatic. Uh, uh, semi-automatic automatically exit exit the observation tool unless you were controlling your own drone. So if you're controlling your own drone, it won't ki kick you out. But if you are aren't on your own drone, it will just kick you out. And um, automatic it just kicks you out right away. And you know, yeah. Um, PC chat now is disabled or is on team chat only. You can set it to all chat, or you could just disable it altogether. I have an all chat because there's, um, you know, things that you need to do. Um, so next, you want to check out your operators. Now, to do that on controller, you do R2 and R1, and RB and LB. So you hit RB here and R1 to get to operators, and you hit it once R L RB and R1. Uh, another time to get into a shop, but shop is expensive. Um, a lot of this thing stuff is like you know expensive. It's like ten, uh, five to ten bucks. Uh, not expensive, but whatever. You want to hit your attackers. So if you have the deluxe edition, and uh, you will get Buck, Blackbeard, Capital, and Habana. Also Sledge, Thatcher, Slat, Ash, Thermite. Twitch, Montaigne, Glass, and Fuse. Oh, Fuse, Blitz, and I IQ. On defense, you will get if you have the your your um if you have the deluxe edition, you get Echo, Cav, and Valk. Uh, Valk and Frost. I keep forgetting. And then normal operators, you get Smoke, Mute, Castle, ba Cast. Yeah. Uh, Pulse, Doc, Rook, Capcan, Tachanka. Jaeger and Bandit. So, best pick for defense. Oh, to get here, by the way, I forgot to say it's R. Uh, it's X on both controllers. And um, yeah, best pick for defense. 
I would say Smoke, Mute, Pulse, and Cap Can. Uh, and Bandit. You can use Bandit, Bandit, it's an optional, but, you know, you can use really any operator you want, but to start off, you can use Bandit, Bandit, Cap Can, Pulse, Smoke, and Mute. Now, on the attackers, you want to take thir Sledge, Ash, Thermite, and or glass. I did not mean to click on glass. Um, so these operators are really easy to control. Their recoil is easy to control. You know, everything about them is easy to control. Now, Twitch with the F2, her recoil can get on the edgy side. If you are having a bad day, her recoil will be all over the place for you. Um, yeah, and then you hit LB to get back to the home screen. And you hit these three lines right here to get into a uh, newcomer ranked, unranked, or quick match, which is cash. Um, I don't have newcomer because you need to be a level 50 or under 50. And I'm a level 142, so can't do that. Um, you can go into training grounds, you know, it's just like, it's the same thing. It's the same thing as terrorist hunt. It just, um, it's, it's just, um, called training grounds now. Learning area, you can watch, you know, you get your situations here and you get your tutorials here. You can, you can just click on these and you can exit them to get renowned if you're getting close to an operator and you need a few hundred more renowned, like an extra, uh, uh, an extra like 400 renowned-ish. You can just watch three of these videos or you could just hit them and then hit escape or B. Or the but or square is it square a PS4? Yeah, I think it's. I've never held a PS4 controller, so I wouldn't know. Um, yeah, but we're gonna go into training grounds. S yeah, we're gonna go into training grounds first. We're gonna do lone wolf, but you could do uh, PVP. Um, like with others, you can change the elimination things. Um, I can't show you right now because I'm in a match by myself uh i'm gonna show you guys ash now before i was having a really bad day so i can control the recoil like there are those times where you can't control people's recoils um to run on pc it's shift uh to run on console it's the right stick uh and uh, to lean on pc it's q to the left and e to the right and on console, it's the that's it's the sticks. It's the sticks, but um, I forget what uh, it's the analog sticks. But you know, okay, well, yeah. And to melee, it's V, or uh, it's V or um, isn't it V or B? No, B is the crouch. On PC, C is to crouch. B is to crouch on Xbox, and so is the square. Oh my, see, see my aim right there? That was just bad. Yeah, but you gotta learn the basics of Siege, you know. Play this a few, few times, you know, do this as much times as you can, you know. I'm gonna do it once more. Or I'm gonna go into the settings of this. So, um, if this thing would come up, uh, there are no challenges. That thing will be bugged all the time. Like, literally all the time that gets bugged. Anyways, um, to get into the training grounds, you know, the training ground settings, you go to options. Um, you go to matchmaking, or yeah, matchmaking preferences. And it shows you right here, these are quick mode, like, preferences. So, I have hostage off because hostage is so annoying. So, I only have bomb and secure, but I want only bomb. So, I'm just going to turn that off. So, um, for training grounds, right here, it's right under quick match settings. You can have uh, elimination on, extract hostage, you know, disarm the bomb. Uh, protect the hostage is hard, extract the hostage is hard, and, um... And so is disarm the bomb, so I just say, uh, go with elimination. Now, here, you can choose what maps you want to play on. Um, you know, I have all of these off, except for, you know, a few of them. 
I have a lot of them off, so you can turn them on or off, just in case if you don't want these maps. Like, I don't like tower, so I have that off. Then you could just hit, you know, if you're done with those, those are all the options you get. So I say just back out, and if you want, you know, preferences here, these are in casual, you know, ranked, unranked, newcomer. You can show scoring, you can show grenade indicator, team name, you know, threat indicator, hit indicator, reload indicator. So that means, like, basic things, you know, show your health, like, show your weapon panel, show your crosshair, show buff slash debuff, which I don't really know what that is, but don't question me on that. And show area of effect and hit confirmation. Uh, I used to play with all, um, I used to play with hit confirmation off, uh, hit indicator off and scoring off but now i just play with all of them because it's hard to detect if you're if there's another player injured or not injured so now we're gonna go into a custom game and i'm gonna show you the spots in a normal casual like in the map house now this map is like back into the ranking system uh, not in ranked but in casual sorry casual um, if I remember how to do this, I can't, I don't remember how to do this anymore. Give me a second. Um. Okay, whatever, we aren't gonna just do this. Um, we're, we're just gonna create, um, if I could remember how to do this, this would be nice. Um. Where is the way to do this? Uh, if I could just... I have to wait five minutes. Okay, well... Okay, hold on. We're just gonna go... We're gonna go into the tutorial. Yep, we're just gonna go into the tutorial. We're gonna just use normal. You can use hard or realistic. Realistic. They will shoot you really crazily. They will know where you are even if you take one slight step. So I say just do normal. Um, I say either do training grounds or do these missions first. I'm just gonna do this with a pistol because I can. Like I just like to get the headshot on that kid. So what I say, cause this. So, because that next guy in that room is just annoying, I just breach open this wall. Now, you can go normally that way, but I always just breach open this wall. Oh, it's, sorry, it's not that guy, but this guy right here in this room, he's so annoying. So, I just open up this wall and go there. Um, there's gonna be a guy to your right and your left. And there are gonna be guys in that room, too. Okay. Ah, uh, C is to crash once again. And V, V is to knife on PC. And yeah, I'm just gonna knife them all, cause uh, yeah. So you wanna try completing these things, like finish the mission with at least 50 health, kill two enemies while aiming, you know, perform four headshots and. To get that menu, it's tab on PC and on console. On the Xbox, it's those three lines, and on PlayStation, once again, I don't really know too much about it, so we aren't going to get into that too crazily. Next one, um, I say do um, training grounds and the situations, you know, because why not? Um, you can skip these. It, like when it gets close this one gets hard this one is a little harder because then when you extract the hostage there's gonna be a guy right there here and behind the car sometimes there might be a third person but generally there's no third guy okay well this is normal again so this will be fairly easy Now I say just go into the front door. You 
want to get rid of these guys here because, yeah, because they get annoying. Yeah, that's potato a little bit. That's a little potato right there. I don't think there's anyone else in there. You want to go in through this door, Lost Sessions? Grab the hostage. The hostage so what I'm saying point. is go down this way then. I bring her down this way, and then I go up to the, I go up to the roof because I could just get these guys. So I bring this up to the roof. I bring me and her up to the roof. Now, yeah, there is this exit repel thing now. So I drop the hostage right there, and I'm gonna go collect these kills up over here. Yeah, no, but that's potato. Oh my god, what is with my potato? Okay, there we go. I don't know where this last game is. Ow, there's one more there, what? Yeah, so, yeah, genu generally, I don't know where this man is. There's four of them, what? Okay, there's normally like three there, but now there's like four. Alright, well, I can't get them, so I'm just gonna go down this way. Through the back here. I say stop and drop her right here. Yeah, the screen's cut off a the lot of times. The I'm gonna have 11 HP though. I literally cannot see her. Okay, there we go. I got them. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, I don't know why the bottom of my screen gets cut off, but it just does. Yeah. And to prone, it's hold B on Xbox. And wherever the button, wherever B is for, like, I think B is square on PlayStation. You just hold it too. And on PC, it's control. And those are the basics of Rainbow Six Siege. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys.